Even before Samsung S10 launch event, Samsung started to roll out the Android Pie update flavored with their One UI, which gives a whole new experience to Samsung users. I personally think it's a great improvement and a major step towards providing better user experience, particularly for the Samsung users. Anyways, in this video, I will share a few tips that I personally use to improve the battery life. And if I compare to earlier, I saw a significant improvement in the battery life without compromising with the performance or the user experience. And here's what I did. Turn on the night mode. Of course, one of the nifty features that Android Pie and One UI brought is the system-wide dark mode that enables you to save significant power. By turning on the dark mode, you can save a lot of power because our Galaxy devices such as S8, S9 and now the S10 features Super AMOLED displays. And by using a much needed feature like dark mode, we can use these Super AMOLED displays to their full potential and also save a lot of power. But turning on the night mode on your device isn't enough. For instance, if you watch YouTube and spend a significant amount watching the videos, turn on the dark mode on that app also. In fact, I keep all apps in the dark mode wherever I see that option uh, and I mostly use the dark mode while indoor. And the experience has been really great. More because it puts less stress on my eyes and also it saves more power. So turn on the dark mode or the night mode wherever you find it to save as much power as possible. Now the second thing that I did is turn on medium power saving mode. With Android Pie and One UI update, the Samsung Galaxy devices now features four power saving modes instead of just three. And this includes a high performance, a optimized, a medium power saving mode and a maximum power saving mode. I personally use optimized cause I want performance as I use multiple apps at the same time and don't wish to see those lags that may appear with medium power saving mode. But if you want more juice out of your battery while sacrificing a bit of performance, go with the medium power saving plan. Otherwise, you can stay with the optimized mode. That will also save you more than enough power while utilizing the phone at the optimum level. It's also one of the recommended power saving mode in the power saving plans. Now the third thing that I did is reduce animations. Animations while opening and closing apps or transitioning between various apps takes away a lot of power as processor has to work more to show you those satisfying transitions. However, you can reduce those animations now without sacrificing the user experience. And here's how. Previously, to reduce animations, we had to enable developers options and reduce the animation speed to half or you can double it or just turn it off. But that looks dirty and closes the apps abruptly or looks like crashing the apps. But now the Samsung UI has a dedicated option under the settings to reduce animations. All you have to do is enable the reduce animations option and you will see a fade transition which appears for a fraction of seconds but looks much much better and it doesn't sacrifice on the user experience. In fact, it improves because you are able to open and switch between the apps much more quickly. You can check that by yourself. Just go ahead, turn on the reduce animation, test the apps and then turn off and then test yourself. You will find a huge difference. So basically, if you want to save more power and improve efficiency at the same time, enable reduce animations option. Now, the fourth thing that I did was enable always on display on demand. I personally admire this option. Earlier, there were two options. Either you want to show always on display screen, always, or you can schedule it. But in both cases, the AOD display was always lit, even if you don't want to see it. I mean, you have placed your phone on the table and sleeping or chatting with someone or talking to someone, the device display is always on and that consumes a lot of power, especially if you use those colorful clocks and add-ons. Now to help overcome this issue, Samsung One UI now features a tap to wake feature. When you enable this feature and press the power button to turn off the phone screen, you won't see always on display. But as soon as you tap on the display, the always on display appears and stays there for the next 30 seconds. That's nifty, right? 
and that way you can save a hell lot of power but again without compromising with the user experience alternatively you can also enable lift to wake feature which is also a great feature and to know more about that you can watch our video where we have discussed 20 plus samsung one ui features that you should enable now the fifth and the final thing that i did was very basic disable the nfc nfc is something which we don't use regularly but most of the time it stays on but you can always access the nfc from the notification bar instantaneously so you can turn it off or on anytime that you want so it's better to keep it off if you are not using it now those were the five tips and power saving features of samsung one ui that i personally use and you can also use and enable them to make most out of your phone's battery power earlier my device used to die within eight hours but now it stays for like uh, nine to ten hours and usage is similar of course update didn't change the way i use my phone or which app i use but it did change the user experience and added some features which helped me conserve more power and my samsung galaxy s8 stays alive for much more longer i don't even carry a charger to my office now so let me know what you think about this and if you agree or disagree to what i say comment down below also subscribe for more such videos and do hit the thumbs up if you like this video you can also watch our previous videos on android pi manual installation if you haven't received the ota update on your galaxy s8 or s8 plus devices the links to the videos are given in the description so that was all in this video i'll be back with another video soon thanks for watching i appreciate your time have a great day